about an odd couple. I brought my Bible. But lately, President Trump and the Bible have been buddies. For instance, this week, a Bible allegedly signed by the president at a rally three years ago was auctioned off on eBay for 325 bucks. Though truth be told, an expert we talked to suspects the Bible signature on your left might be fake, citing poor sizing, the constantly changing angle of the letters, and other telltale signs. The collector who listed it didn't get back to us. When President Trump recently visited a tornado-ravaged area of Alabama, he was handed Bibles to sign. Even Melania signed one. Now, there is no commandment saying, thou shalt not sign the Bible. There's actually a tradition of Bible signing in the South. But that didn't stop this cartoonist from noting the irony. That's the same pen he used to sign hush money checks for the porn star he got with while cheating on Melania. On The Late Show, the hand of God reached out to squirt cleaner on the autographed Bible. Conan made a similar joke. I let Donald Trump sign my Bible. Don't worry, there's help. MiracuClean Bible Wipes get to the source of sinner signatures. Though MiracuClean might be a little harsh for some spots. And nobody loves the Bible more than I do. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know? Then there was the Testament no, test. An Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. Sounds a little like when Sarah Palin was asked what newspaper she reads. All of them, any of them. And if you don't know a psalm from a proverb, best to avoid citing chapter and verse. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ballgame. Genimo, CNN.